I'm a freshman in university, and I dropped my first course and enrolled into a new one. This new subject is the type of class that is full of the people that are considered rejects or losers. Anyhow, on my first day it was apparent that these guys were definitely socially inept. There's about only four girls in the class. I take my seat and listen to my long lecture. I notice that the guy in front of me has the habit of turning around and looking at the girls, trying to be inconspicuous but failing. I'm sitting next to my friend Katie, and the guy keeps looking at her, seemingly working up the courage to talk to her. He eventually does, and has a high-pitched voice, which is really creepy because he has a manly face and a long beard. This man does not belong here. Most of the kids here are 17. He looks 30. During the 10 minute break in the lecture, the guy gets up and walks about, as if searching for something or someone. He walked up to a girl and tried to talk to her. I don't know how to describe it, but you know those guys that are considered special and have that knack to talk to girls, but the girls just have to be kind despite the awkwardness and don't really want to talk back? Well, this guy was doing that. The girl was obviously uncomfortable. She was trying to look at her phone while trying to be kind. This happens for the next few months. Katie said there's something just probably wrong with him, and everybody treated him the same way. However, I saw through him, and he had malevolence in his eyes. Now this is when it all changed, and he was revealed for what he was. I was on the train on the way home, and Evan, the creeper dude, was on the train as well. He was a few rows in front of me. The only other person on our section of the train was a girl. Evan began doing his obvious head churn and kept looking at her. Evan then switched seats and went and sat behind her, about a row or two behind her, and two rows behind me. At this point, I was just pleading he wasn't going to be creepy, but he was. He seemingly sniffed her hair when he passed her, and when he sat, he tapped his long fingernails on the seat. Evan's stop to get off was coming up. When it arrived, he didn't get off. All my nope radars were going off in my head. He kind of hovered from his seat and then reconsidered and sat down. My stop came up and I stayed on. I needed to ensure this girl wasn't going to get attacked or anything. Her stop came up and it was the rich district. She stood up and he stood up too. He obviously didn't belong there. When she walked by me, I stood behind her and blocked the way to the exit. Evan tried to ignore me. He was too focused on the girl, and he just kept trying to push by. I wasn't letting him by. He finally said, excuse me, in his high voice. I didn't budge, and slowly panned my head up to meet his eyes, and he recognized me and began getting impatient and tried to barge past me. You aren't getting off this train, Evan, I told him. This isn't your stop, and you aren't going to follow that girl. At this point, Evan lost it. He began screaming and scratching me and flailing his legs and arms at me. He began hitting me with something sharp on my shoulder. I shoved him into the wall and began smashing his head into the wall of the train. I punched him in the face and he fell unconscious. His phone fell out of his pocket and an attachment to a camera fell out. I called the police and they came quickly. They arrested him and informed me I had a flip knife dislodged into my lower shoulder. The motherfucker stabbed me. They took me to a hospital and I filled out the police report. They ended up finding photos of girls from my classes on his phone and child pornography on his PC. He ended up going to a loony bin. So, weird stalker dude with a high-pitched voice? Let's not meet again.